Now example 11.2. A blacksmith fixes iron ring on the rim of the wooden wheel of a bullock cart. The diameter of the rim and the iron ring are 5.243 meter and 5.231 meter respectively at 27 degree Celsius. To what temperature should the ring be heated so as to fit the rim on the wheel? Now see here, diameter of the rim of the iron ring, that is 5.243 and 5.231, okay? Now suppose we want to fix this particular iron ring on this particular wheel. Then we have to increase the diameter of this ring up to the diameter of the wheel, okay? And for that, we have to increase the temperature of it. So linear expansion will be there. Now, see, L at a temperature T1, so that is the diameter at a temperature T1 of iron ring that is 5.231 meter. Length temperature T2. So diameter at a temperature T2 that we have to make it 5.243 meter equal to that of wheel of Bullock cart. Temperature T1 that is given to you 27 degree Celsius up to what temperature the iron ring should be heated. So temperature T2 that we have to find. Coefficient of linear expansion for iron that is 1.2 into 10 raised to minus 5 Kelvin inverse. Now we have the equation for linear expansion delta L that is equal to alpha L, L at temperature T1 means original length, that is the diameter in this case, and temperature difference. So change in length, that is the change in diameter. So that is L at T2 minus L at T1, that is alpha L, L at T1 into T2 minus T1. So L at T2 that is equal to L at T1 plus alpha L, L at T1 into T2 minus T1, take L at T1 common. So substitute the values now, 5.243 that is L at T2, 5.231 that is L at T1, 1 alpha L, 1.2 into 10 raised to minus 5, T2 which we want to find, T1, that is 27 degrees Celsius. Now solve this particular equation and make T2 as a subject and you will get the answer. Clear to all of you?